Hi, this is Kate, and this is how I dyed these damaged suede heels purple. So when they came to me, there was some sort of sun damage to these heels. They had never been worn before, and I thought that I would like to try to clean them first because they were a lovely shade of lavender, but you can obviously see that these two shoes do not match color-wise. So I used Angelus Easy Cleaner and the Suede A New Buck kit to try to clean it. Um, now, I don't like to fill up a huge bowl full of it. I just kind of put it in a little cup and I did clean the whole shoe. I also did use a soft bristle toothbrush to clean the small places in that knot. However, when you see the end results, it is obvious that whatever damage is beyond just cleaning. So then I bought this lilac suede dye, and I realize now that what I could have done was bought the neutral suede dye as well to try to dilute it to make a different lighter color. However, I just thought this was going to be light enough not using this dye before. So then what I did was I took the straps out, as you can just see. I brought them downstairs, I wore gloves, and I took the dye out of the box. I shook it up a lit, little bit. And then it's very important to use the back of the box. I mean, there's so many times where I have almost knocked the dye over if it wasn't for this really ingenious contraption that you're seeing me open right there. So I put it in using the wool dauber, I set out to dye. That is also the top of a Barbasol cap, which I used to set my wool dauber down on. But you can see that um, it, the dye is very purple. It's a little darker than I imagined it, that it was going to be. Um, but it was a beautiful color. And so the difficult thing about these sandals was that this knot had so many folds and it had so many little tiny places that needed to get dyed so then I took a paintbrush that I don't really care about I think it came with an art kit that was very cheap and as you can see I'm going in between those creases to really dye the shoe and so with this shoe I ended up dyeing it twice and you have to let it sit after each time of dyeing it so it it really dries um, it actually dried for me near my pellet stove because I had dyed this back in the beginning of April. Another thing that I'll comment on is the fact that I'm not using tape on this project. Now, I was very surprised when these shoes came because I thought that they were cloth, but they were actually suede. However, the bottom of the shoe, the sole of the shoe, was synthetic. So if it wasn't synthetic and it was real leather, I would be concerned with spilling the suede or spilling the suede onto the sole of the shoe or the inside, but neither were leather. They were both synthetic, which you can look for by reading the inside of the shoe. Every shoe tells you in detail what it's made of, or it should. Um, usually newer shoes do. So again, using the same paintbrush, I was able to dye the sides and slightly inside of this sandal um, the same purple. And like I said, I did dye this twice, and you'll have and I had to go over every little part of the shoe, and then I brushed it out. It was very pleasing to dye the strap, as you can see. And I wasn't concerned about the metal parts on the shoe because if you do get dye onto that, you can usually wipe it off with um, the nail polish remover or whatever you have to deglaze around. Um, I did not deglaze the suede beforehand. And after I finished it, dyeing it twice, that is, I just brushed it out because it is quite stiff. And I used the whole of the suede kit to get it back to being soft again. And then I sprayed a protective spray over it, but this was the end result and it's very pretty. So thank you for watching this video and click like and subscribe for more videos.